Hello, welcome back to Jennifer. Welcome, welcome. This is Jordan. This is Jennifer. This is Jennifer. Um, okay, so we're going to do a little sit down video, which we've not done yet. Um, today we're going to talk about um, our couple goals um, for the year. So we kind of made New Year's resolutions together um, of things that we want to achieve in 2018. Yeah, we made a lot, but we're not going to talk about them all. Yeah. to be here all night so we just picked a few out that right. are, probably a lot of you have in common with us or you know want to do yourself but um yeah the things that are, we're going to try and improve on this year so yeah okay so um number one is uh, to lose at least <laughs> one to two pounds a week um <laughs> so as soon as you say that right my mind automatically goes back to when me and Jenny got engaged and we we took a picture. I'll put it in. Yeah, Jen will put it in. Took a picture and it's like pre marriage slim sexiness like we were both yeah. Yeah, a lot slimmer than we are now. <laughs> and then, you know, marriage, you, 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 I guess you let yourself go down. But, and, and parenting as well, but... No, that's what I think of that picture when... Because before my mission, I was massive, like, huge. And then I lost a lot of weight on my mission. And when I came back, well, we were both... Uh, both slim, weren't we? So... So that's our first goal. Um, we're trying to eat healthier. Mm. Um, I've been scouring through all my mum's recipe books for healthier recipes, and yeah. we just bought the Hairy Dieters, the Hairy Barkers, but Hairy Dieters yeah. book. Um, so I've made Jordan look through that because he's much more of a picky eater than I am. I'm not picky. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I, I am. I'm just, I'm just not at the same time. If that makes sense. It doesn't. <laughs> On to number two. Okay. So number two is to exercise once or twice a week. We now you might think oh, that's not a lot, but for us, is a lot. Yeah, is a lot because when when no spring chickens, all right. I know, Jordan suggested going on a run. I was like, run? I'm going to look if I could walk. I know. <laughs> I've got the stairs and not a breath. I know. It's not Man, good. It's so bad, yeah. Not good. Yeah. So, yeah, we're trying to come up, um, we're trying to come up with ways that we can do that. We have a tennis court right near us, but it's obviously still quite dark. Yeah. And Jordan doesn't fish till five, so it's dark no. by then. Yeah. When, when it gets brighter, we'll probably use the tennis courts. Um, yeah. We wanted to take Noah swimming. Um, but there was a few problems that we encountered that prohibited us from doing that at the time. So it's still on our to-do yeah. list. Uh, we were also going to join a dance class. But we quickly changed our minds and we oh. turned up for said dance class and it was extortionate. So we so we got this flyer through the door and it said... I had two classes on. One was like a slow dancing, like Foxtrot mm -hmm. and all that jazz. Not, not jazz, but you know. <laughs> And then one was tango and salsa and like swing dancing, you know. So, and it said £40 for eight week course. So we naturally thought, it didn't say per person, so we thought it was £40 for the both of us because it'd be like, couple dancing. Uh, like a couple dancing, you know, because you can't flip and swing dance on your touch, you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, so we rock up, you know, and like, would skin you know what I mean like our budget is very tight so like but it was something that we wanted to do together and you know but then we they were said, really looking forward to yeah. it but then they said that'd be 40 pounds each and yeah, we were so, like that fully shit yeah which was a shame but yeah it so it wasn't meant to be but so if you have any suggestions of things that are free slash cheap to do to exercise yeah. um it's shocking I mean I, I always complain me because you know, the government and everyone always says, oh, well, the country's obese and we're all fatties and, you know, we all need to lose... the government says that. We all need to lose weight and stuff. 
and then they charge you like fifteen pound to go play badminton. You know, <laughs> it's like I, I don't know. So, but yeah, any suggestions would be welcome. would like I'll play a sport all day long, me. Like any sport, I'll play. I'm half decent at any of them. You know, I can play any sport, but running and jogging and the gym and stuff is just just fine boring. You know, so yeah, and it's expensive. Yeah. To, so that was worry. number two. Uh, on to number three. Um, our third goal for 2018 is. To have date night every week, which we aren't really too bad at anyway. No, I think it's like a continuation. Yeah. Rather than a just know, something get better that, at. Yeah, something that we prioritise. Yeah. Um, especially since having Noah, because yeah. often we don't really get that much time together. Um, we spend the majority of our time looking after Noah, which yeah. is obviously we know what we signed up for and we love him to bits, but it's important that our relationship stays strong so that we can stay as a family unit yeah, yeah. and that's important to us so um, date night every week um, usually we'll do it on a Wednesday but it depends on what we want to do and if mum's free to babysit yeah um, probably throughout the year we might branch out to new babysitters now that he's older um, so that it's not as much on mum yeah. but we'll see yeah we'll see but yeah date nights <coughs> they've always been part of our relationship so um I think they should be part of anyone's because it's important that you spend time together, you know. So we like usually like go well before our losing one pound, two pound a week. Yeah. We usually go and stuff our faces somewhere. Yeah. Hence the problem. So <laughs> but no so now we're like trying to like think of other things to do, which is why we wouldn't do the dancing thing, you know, that was gonna be our date night thing, but um yeah, we just sometimes. I mean, well, not sometimes. Most of the time, date night is actually sleep night, and uh, you know we just yeah. could catch up on some sleep and get a nap. Or yeah. sometimes we clean the house because we're wild yeah, like that. That's just you know what I mean. Just crazy. Just so again, suggestions welcome. <laughs> yeah. If you've had any uh, wonderful yeah. date nights, anything that beats cleaning, yeah, and um, and napping, be our guest. Indeed. You know what I mean? If you can beat that, then <laughs> set you set, you, set you a high bar then. Yeah. Um, on to number four. Number four, we want to go on a family holiday. Mm. We have been on holiday, but generally we'll go with my family. Um, they go to Scotland every year, which isn't too exotic, but we do have a good time. And um, But this year we just want to branch out a little bit and try and go on our own. Mm. Um, we haven't decided if we want to go abroad or stay in the country. Um, yeah. Or maybe just go like to Wales or like down south, maybe visit John's mission or something like that. Mm. Um, but obviously, because we have such a tight budget, that will mean that we have to save. Um, so we'll probably set up some kind of savings account. Um, especially that was another one of our goals, it was. but we just didn't want to buy all that yeah. mumbo jumbo. But yeah, but I, it wasn't saving money. So. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we can do that and um, yeah, I mean, I'm not too fussed about going abroad. I, I, I don't know, I think it'd be faffy with Noah. Mm. I don't know if there's any parents out there who've been on holiday with, you know, toddlers or babies or whatever, then feel free to tell us how it went. Mm. But um, but yeah, I, I don't know, like, we've got a lot of people that we can visit down south and um, you know things that we can do so there's, there's plenty to do in our own country but yeah i guess it would be yeah. nice to go visit someone else yeah but we'll see spread noah's cuteness abroad <laughs> watch this space um so number five is do the jar um do the jar. so the jar <laughs> is um when we got married or yeah, when we got married. When we got married, yeah. um, my friend Katie gave us like a memory jar where you write things that happened throughout the year mm. um, and then at the end of the year, it was like for our anniversary, so mm. things that happened um, in our first year of marriage. And then on our anniversary, we opened them and, and read them. So you just like put little notes in. So we want to continue that because obviously with Noah, 
things happen every day and you don't always have time to write them down as much as you would like to and I do try we have a baby book um, but the smaller things yeah. aren't always um, recorded that's when yeah yeah that's true so yeah so we want to try and do the job which is hard because you forget um, I don't really know how I can remember it unless we did it like at a set time or a set day or yeah, I think we need to set a, is it, yeah, set a specific time to do it. But like when when we first did it, when we first got it, we we did it all the time. Yeah. Um, well, like, not all the time, but no. But I mean, quite regularly, the first like five six months mm. of our marriage, and then we moved. Like we we had a flat as soon as we got married, and then we moved to our house, uh, not this house, another house, and then. After that move, there yeah. was a lot going on, mm. and so it kind of got, yeah, mm -hmm. fell fell into the background. Yeah, and so we don't really have, we didn't really have a lot of stuff from the second half of the year, um, but we still had loads of of notes and, and memories and things that we've written down. Um, but yeah, it's just. And it was really nice to look back on when we opened it. Yeah, yeah. And that's why it, we wanted to do it again. It was really good. We had a really good time reading them, and, you know, because you know certain people have <coughs> got memories like a sieve, and um, Thanks for that. and don't remember stuff. So so we need to write it. Down. So when you write it down and you read it, you know, it makes you happy when you when you um, remember these things that have yeah. happened. So. Which takes us nicely onto number six, which is to take more photos. Mm -hmm. Um. We do take that, That's one for me more than Jenny because Jenny always takes photos of everything. She's a photographer. Well, she's not a photographer, but you know she is good at taking photos, and she like is always taking photos of me and Noah, and you know she always says, "Well, not always." She don't complain, but she says sometimes, you know, "Oh, there's not a lot of pictures of me or me and Noah and stuff." So I need to mm -hmm. get my finger out and think, you know. I have my mindset on where I'm like, I look at Jen and Noah together and think, that's cute, I'll take a picture. That's what I need to do. So. Okay. Generally, it is just pictures, like periodically as well. Obviously, you take pictures on your phone all the time, but yeah. sometimes they're not good quality or yeah. well planned or thought out, just to make sure that we don't stop taking pictures and that we yeah. see them grow, you know? It's important. So that's yeah, because I mean, like our generation, we had loads of photos as kids because it was like the thing, wasn't it? You know, the in thing when we were growing up. Like for the parents, like photo technology was getting better and whatever, and they were getting they were going from having the little, you know, disposable NAF cameras to having digital cameras, and so the, you know they would take loads of photos. And, so and we take photos now and we put them on Facebook or Instagram yeah. or whatever. But um, it's uh, well, we think it's important to have you yeah. know, actual photos printed out, you know, because um, and it's not expensive. Um, and then obviously it's a case of doing something with those photos. Mm. So I guess at some point I'm gonna do proper albums or something. I don't yeah. know how to organize it. Whether it'll be like. I don't know, like Noel's first year or yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's yeah, it's uh, but it's fun and yeah, you know, it's good. again, it's good to look back on it. Yeah, look, look at pictures and remind you things that have happened. So. Yeah. yeah, and lastly, number seven is do YouTube. Do YouTube. Tick. End of accomplished now. Done in it, fam. Um. I'm really enjoying doing it. It's, it is hard sometimes to remember to turn on the camera because you're just so used to just don't living your life and thing. getting on with it. Yeah. Um, and also, some people aren't comfortable being recorded. Um, so that can make it a bit difficult as well because we might be doing something with like my family or John's family or just out and about and they don't want to be recorded, which is fine. But then that means you don't record any of it because yeah. you don't want to... It, it just makes it difficult. Yeah. But I think we'll figure that out as time goes on. Um, of course, we'll do more sit-down videos where we um, talk and discuss things or um, topics, question, Q&As kind of thing. 
Yeah. Um, but we really want to post quite regularly. I still haven't thought of a schedule because I wanted to do um, weekly videos of like Monday to Friday and what went on in that and then weekend videos. So I figured the weekly ones I would post on Saturday and then the weekend ones I would post on Monday, Tuesday. Um, I don't know though, like just I feel like the minute I'm enjoying just being able to upload when I want to, um, which has been regularly, um, but I suppose for subscribers or just in general it's good to know when the next video will be. So, um, yeah. You don't um, amazing. She's doing really good. Like, it, we started our channel ages ago. Yeah. Like a year ago, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just like something that we wanted to do because as we say a lot, like videos are, have been a big part of yeah. our relationship. So mm -hmm. so we wanted to, to continue that and, um, and, you know, find joy in looking back on things that we've done and whatever mm -hmm. because um, it's important for us and it's in, we think it's important for Noah when he's grown up as well, you know. But um, like we had, we were just very busy at the time, mm -hmm. and I think we just <laughs> we were so busy that we were just trying to pile everything on, and and it was something that you know we we kind of didn't have the time for, even though we wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. So now. I know, I, I know, think, I know. It's weird now, like we have a kid and you know all this stuff. So We've got so much more time, but it's um, but it gives us more, I, I guess, motivation to do it as well now that he's here, because because we don't want to miss it. Because we don't miss it now, so so that's that's why as well. But Jenny's doing really good at editing and stuff, and she's doing good. She is, she is, and 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 the, you know, it's. It is hard to do it and takes a while and stuff. Um, we don't have a lot of equipment and things like that. Last time when we started, we bought some stuff. Um, which so we used I think to it's lost. just packed up in the attic. Yeah, I mean, we moved in six months ago, but not all the boxes are empty. So. But I also had a baby six months ago. That's very true. Hence. Yeah, hence, no. Yes. Yeah, so, but hopefully as we progress and, you know, we, you know, win the lottery and stuff. We might be able to to get some better equipment, or whatever. So, or just even find my camera. Or, or just even find Jenny's camera. You know, pray One for us that we'll find Jenny's camera. One step at a time. So we'll see. But we're enjoying doing it so far, and I really like these sit down ones where we get to talk about things. And you know, me and Jen have had quite an interesting journey together. So we're looking forward to sharing that with you. Mm -hmm. And you know, we um we're grateful for you watching and uh, we hope you enjoy. Yeah. And so we'll see you again in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, give us feedback. So yeah. That we know what you like and what you don't like. Tell us about holidays with babies, yeah. tell us about your New Year's resolutions yes. and tell us about things that you do together as a couple. Yeah. Yeah, we wanna know what your New Year's resolutions are. Yeah. Maybe there's something that we haven't tapped into yet that we should be doing as well. Yeah. And we can keep checks on each other. Yeah. Are you writing in the jar? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Okay, so we'll see you again soon. Bye, Felicia's. <laughs>